up, Internet? This is Chris of Phone Cats, and we're taking a look at a pretty cool game called Majesty the Fantasy Kingdom by HeroCraft Ukraine LTD. Whatever that stands for, Limited? Okay, this game is really cool. Um, anyone that's played, like, Heroes of Might and Magic or, I don't even know, just maybe even Warcraft or just some old, old school games where there's orcs, there's trolls, uh, right now I'm about to fight some gentle harpies. It's pretty rough. There's rats. They're, like, easy. Um, I'm just warming up. This game has had updates. This game has three difficulties. I'm going to play this level on Pacifist, which is, like, the, like, super easy mode. And, yeah. Okay. Here's how it starts out. I'm gonna flip my iPad over just because I hold it with my left hand mostly, and that puts my thumb right where the power button is, and I do that a lot, and it sucks. Okay, so I go to this castle, and that's where you build things. The first thing that I build is a marketplace, because I'm trying to get money. Um, you build it, and then there's a couple spells that it has and things that it does. Okay, uh, just kind of roll with the punches because I still don't know how to play this game, but I'm somehow managing to beat it. I still haven't found a really, really good walkthrough. Okay, I just built a warrior's house and a ranger's house. And the warriors are like your tanks, the rangers are like your basic archers that die pretty easily. And you generate more money as you build more characters because you have a tax collector that goes from like place to place. And then the more heroes you have, they sleep in hero houses, and I think the tax collector might go to those too. And the market has this thing called Market Day, and I'm just assuming it's like when a queen in StarCraft 2 casts spawn larva on a hatchery, because I have nothing else to even relate that to. Um, up close, the graphics look like really good. Um, on the iPad 2, it's pretty killer. Um, I don't know if my camcorder really sells it, so I might edit this so that it zooms in. It parts of fights or like you can see a building construction because there's a there's a lot going on each one of the buildings has like a little animation to them and you're just looking at all these like spritey characters i was gonna say 8-bit but it's definitely not 8-bit and i don't even really know what sprite is besides the drink and like the the flying fairy sprites oh dear getting into the lore there might be a level about sprites that would be kind of cool uh i already mentioned in this one there's harpies and they're pretty bad. Okay, so I got my market going to level 2, and I keep hitting that market day spell, because I think that gives me more money. Um, I'm building archers as I go, and building more knights as I go. The archers automatically will start roaming around and kind of expand your territory in the map, and then your knights stay in place. Um, dudes you also have running around your house all the time are the tax collectors that I mentioned, and then you have these red knights that are just like guardians or something. Um, the knights die a l no, the knights don't die at all. Well, they'll die sometimes, but not very frequently. The archers die a lot, and I'm just gonna start, like, telling you about more characters, because I played this game for, like, half an hour, and I thought about just speeding it up into double mode, but it was way too hard to keep up, so I'm just gonna, like, teleport towards the end, to the end of the level. Spoiler alert, I beat the level. Okay, now I am building an, like a next le level elven place or something, and it increases your market uh, income by 50%. And that's a big deal, people. You need to keep an eye at your gold at the top. Um, I play kind of like splurgy at the beginning, just spending lots of money really fast, but most of the time you're going to be like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Um... Maybe if you get this game for yourself, it's three dollars, you can kind of poke around and actually figure it out for yourself, because I'm sure there's like a really fast way to get money. But, um, it reminds me of StarCraft 2, and I open kind of, or not StarCraft 2, but just RTS games in general, real-time strategy, because I open with a, a market, and that makes me feel like a baller, because it's like opening with like an early expansion, I guess. But that's what I tell myself, it could be more efficient just to go straight heroes, and then upgrade your castle really fast, and maybe I'm a, a lamer for doing that market thing, or whatever. Okay, the as you continue to expand your city, you're gonna have a whole bunch of, like, things that just continue to pile on. Um, those rats that I was fighting earlier start popping up, and if you have a whole bunch of heroes die, you start to get graveyards, which sucks, because you can't kill them. I don't know if I can attack that rat hole, but whatever. Um, you can scroll around on the map and double tap anywhere and then your characters you can set like a bounty for going to that area and you i never have really had to raise it or anything like that i guess that might make it a higher priority 
But you double tap, you can double tap on buildings too, like opponents' buildings. And that's how I ended up beating this one once I figured out that I needed to attack the harpy houses. No, that's not even like a spoiler, like, it takes such a long time to even, uh... I mean, I bet there's some people that can't even maintain, like, their own kingdom and just get overrun by, like, these rats and huge, like, trollgers or whatever they are. No, not my archer! Um, you can upgrade abilities... I don't even know if it's at the castle or... Maybe it's the marketplace. It's the, it might be the marketplace, but you can give your dude special abilities, like, some kind of, like, healing amulet. Um, there's some kind of, like, teleport thing where they'll just, like, blink across half the screen. It's pretty legit. Um, okay, I don't even know if I've gotten to the... Yeah, I haven't even gotten to, like, the mages yet. There are these mages, and they die, like, in one hit. And every time that you're going around building things and scrolling through things, you're gonna hear one of your mages die with their distinct yell. Um, I don't even know if I get to that point, or if, uh, you'll hear it. I think you'll hear it at the end, so no spoilers. I was gonna recreate it and probably just like bomb it. Okay, I'm building a statue that uh, like motivates your dudes to get out of the town and actually go out and uh, kill stuff or like pursue uh, bounties. I don't know if it's better to like make more bounties or invest more in your expanding bounties and attack commands or just to build a statue, but whatever, roll with the punches. I was trying to build like one of everything and just kind of like catch them all Pokemon style so you get a good feel for it. But, um, there's like, uh, I wouldn't say talent trees. Okay, we just jumped ahead. Um, you're gonna find coins, like, where normally below you, honestly, like, just head straight south with one of your dudes pretty early, and you'll just find some stacks. Um, I don't really look how much you're in them, but hopefully it's enough to justify the small tour and getting some coins. Okay, look at this bitch harpy running away. Uh... It's because of them, all my dudes are like level 12,000. At one point I build a blacksmith, and then you can upgrade attack and defense each once. And then you upgrade the blacksmith. Uh, a lot of your buildings can be upgraded as you upgrade your castle. And that's why it reminds me of Heroes of Might and Magic so much. Jesus, I want to play that game now. There isn't any like gridded out hexagon battle stages or anything like that. But you see guys fight and... I mean, I, I don't even know if I should tell you or if I shouldn't tell you about all the crazy uh, different characters you can get. There's clerics, and they do cleric-y things. It's awesome. Okay, so now I actually have an attack bounty on that house, so... Uh, yeah, if I did that from the get-go, I probably could have beat this a lot faster, and it wouldn't have been so spliced up, but... Whatever. This game is fun, and it's only $3, and... This is, like, one of my top-played games right now. Um, a lot of people... Actually, it didn't even have too many reviews, because it only came out, like, literally a week ago. But yeah, I say this is hot, and it's super enjoyable. So, here's a little bit of end game, at least for this level. I mean, down the line, on, like, the iTunes preview screens, they show, like, dragons and crazy stuff. DRAGONS! But yeah, I'm just wrecking shop. I got, like, five knights on this house, just chopping your walls down. A couple harpies poop out, and probably die immediately so I just scrolled away uh, there's some of those safes that they put right below you oh yeah mega rain dude I have so much money I have like thirty seven thousand dollars right now it's like not even a it's a non-issue I think I almost got rampaged here just because I hadn't built heroes in a long time because I'm either like playing this game with like uh, ADD ferocity and spamming through all the buttons insanely fast or just blankly staring and watching my fight so so yeah, I would uh, I would recommend doing that if you want to enjoy this game. It, uh, it'll turn up the intensity factor by at least five. Okay, uh, yeah, later on you'll learn that you can just use these arrows at the top right, at the top left rather, to, to scroll through all your freaking stores. And then each store has a question mark that you can hit next to it. Kind of near in that top, uh, it's gone, but whatever. Hit the question mark, uh, it tells you more about it and why you should level things up. And if you want to play a game for like an hour a day and kind of uh, get immersed. Yes, I beat the level! I beat the level! I was kind of afraid I wasn't going to make it to the end. Alright, that's it for this one. Um, like this video and go like, like all of them. Next level is trees! They look mean. Okay, that's it for this episode of Fun Cats.